Well, well, here we are, finally at last at number one on my fantasy playlist of May 6, 2002. And uh, the top three dominated by hip-hop records, B2K at number three, Tweet at number two, and now at Nappy Roots with Oh No, Oh No at number one on my fantasy playlist, up one from number two. This song, this is original sounding rap record. You don't hear that, that much originality in rap music today, but uh, there was quite a bit of it back in the 90s and early 2000s. Thousands. I wish there was some more original sounding rap records like this one. This had an old timey feel to it. The the organ uh, reeks of 1920s, 1930s. It's just got or or before that, and the and the and, and the 18th century. Well, 19th century. It's just it's just got that vibe to it. Uh, it's from the album called uh, Watermelon Chicken and Grits. It was their first album off the Atlantic Record label. They they released an independent album. In 1998, and then uh, they which drew the attention of Atlantic Records, and uh, they signed with Atlantic Records, and then they released uh, Watermelon Chicken and Grits. Grits. Oh, I love grits. Give me some of that buttered grits. Give me some jams along with some of that buttered grits. <laughs> Toasted jam. Ooh, I'm getting hungry all over again, Mr. DJ. The song was produced by a guy named James Groove Chambers. I tell you who they remind me of: Nappy Roos. Remember Arrested Development? People Every Day. That was a brilliant record by Arrested Development. Nappy Roots reminds me of them. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Nappy Roots considered an alternative rap band. And that's what we need, an alternative. Please, please, I beg the people of 2016 the, in the rap hip-hop industry, let's get some more originality in these hip-hop records like this one by Nappy Roots. Something really catchy and, well, anyway, uh, they are indeed from the South. They're, well, close to the South. Well, close enough to the South. Kentucky, I don't really think of Kentucky as being in the South, sort of midway between the South and the North, but from Bowling Green, Kentucky, they were students at Western Kentucky University when they met. And, uh... Oh no, went to number 51 on Billboard's Hot 100. Number 18 on R&B and Hip Hop, I thought it would go a little bit higher than that, but it's such an original sounding record. Some other hit records by them, Po Folks was, was another hit record by uh, uh, Nappy Roots. Well, that's it. I'm done. Uh, let me t let me go real quick over a couple of other fancy playlists. Uh, the next fancy playlist I will count down. I will start on it early next week. Uh, will be from my will be for my 80s and 90s YouTube channel. Uh, the it will be the second week of 1986. This one, June 13th, 1986, fancy playlist. And boy, got the SOS band, the Pet Shop Boys, Prince. Hopefully, Prince. If I can dig up a Prince video, Kenny Loggins, and uh, well, got some good stuff on here. Boys don't cry. I want to be a cowboy on this fancy playlist, 1986. I'll start on that in a few nights, and about a month, uh, I'll come back to. This this channel, the uh, Second Millennium channel, and uh, Countdown of Fantasy Playlist from the week of July the 23rd or 25th, 2004. It'd be the last week of July 2004. And got some, well, gosh doggy, Christina Millian, I can't pronounce her last name, R&B singer, Usher, Jet, France Fernand, Twista, remember Twista? Gosh, doggy boy, it's been a while since I heard anything from Twista. Overnight celebrity on that fancy playlist in 2004, just giving you a sneak preview. But now I'm all done up with uh, May 6, 2002, and if you watched any of these videos, well, thank you. I appreciate it. That's it. I'll see you on the next countdown. Take care.